Well, the police now tell us that the two people accused of carrying out this violent murder were squatters. Now, it all happened inside this apartment here on East 31st Street. That's where detectives believe these two were living illegally inside the apartment. They say that when this woman who owned the apartment showed up to clean it for family friends, that is when they killed her when she confronted them. Now, these two accused killers are on the run. Inside the 19th floor apartment, you can see the signs of a serious struggle. This is where 52 year old Nadia Vitel's body was found inside of that suitcase hidden in a closet. The murder of this Long Island mother has been a mystery now for weeks. Police believe it was Sunday, March 10th, that the suspects snuck inside the apartment. Two days later, the victim came to the apartment to clean. Police believe that's when she was likely murdered. That's when she found the couple inside. Last Thursday, concerned family members called the super to check on the woman. The super called 911, and that's when they found her body, as well as her dog, inside the apartment. The dog, though, was unharmed. The super says the suspected killers were then seen on video leaving in the victim's Lexus. That stolen car was then found crashed in Pennsylvania by police, and police are still looking for the couple. Unfortunately, they didn't run the plate. If they would have ran the plate, they would have saw that we had a federal felony alarm on the car for it being stolen and wanted in connection to a homicide. NYPD Chief of Detectives Joseph Kenny says they know who the suspects are and they are actively looking for them. Meanwhile, there is legislation that could change the way that squatters are seen. There, there's legislation being put forth by Long Island Assemblymen to call those squatters trespassers and classify squatting as criminal trespassing. That bill, though, is in its very early stages. We're going to wait to see how that plays out. That's the latest from Kips Bay. I'm Julie Millay, PIX11 News.